welcome to Nini Shahira channel. Kita as a K-pop fan, mesti family dengan benda ni kan? Tara. Sebab kita selalu shopping barang-barang favorite idol kita kat situ. Macam ni, okay, album, official merch. Unfortunately, last October, we were shop dah stop um, shipping in certain country. Termasuklah Malaysia. Tapi, kalau dia ship dekat Malaysia pun, you guys akan tengok cost shipping dia lagi mahal daripada item yang korang beli. So, untuk video kali ni, saya akan tunjukkan uh, tutorial macam mana nak beli barang daripada Weaver Shop menggunakan buy and ship. Buy and ship ni dia macam forwarder. Kita beli barang and then dia shipkan untuk kita. Uh, macam contohnya, kita beli barang dekat Weaver Shop, kita guna Korean address which is ada kilang dekat situ. Lepas tu, dia akan hantar dekat Hong Kong Warehouse Lepas tu, daripada Hong Kong Warehouse, barulah dia hantar ke Malaysia. Daripada Malaysia tu, barulah dia sampai kat rumah kita. Saya dah experience beli barang dekat Weaver Shop, guna buy and ship. Memang mudah, memang senang and uh, cost shipping pun tak mahal. The last time my order is within 2 weeks. Within 2 weeks dah sampai dekat Malaysia. First of all, mestilah korang kena install buy and ship apps. Lepas tu, um, dia akan keluar get our address. Kita tekan get our address tu. Tekan Seoul Korea And then kat sini ada Kita dah dapat address kita Dia tak terima address in English Kita kena tekan in Korea So kita tekan in Korea Kat situ dah ada keluar address dia Kita copy address dia Sekarang kita pergi kat Weaver Shop Kita pergi kat Weaver Shop And then kita pergi dekat My Shipping My Shipping I mean Shipping Address Add to Add shipping address First of all, kita tulislah nama kita macam biasa Select country region, South Korea Done Okay, street tu tadi yang kita copy tadi tu Kita copy Kita paste kat sini Paste tapi kita ambil um, sampai 400 tu je Okay, yang Hmm, selain pada 400 tu, kita delete Ambil yang sampai 400 tu Ok, kat sini dah keluar Tekan And then yang second ni, baru kita ambil yang lepas daripada 400 tu So, kita paste, kita buang yang 400 tu pula Ok Kat situ dia dah dia kat situ dia dah siap letak post poster code so kita tak payah letak poster code dah post dia salin je nombor dia and then set as default shipping address Okay, dah dapat so kalau korang pergi dekat Weaver Shop sebelum ni kalau korang letak Malaysian address dia akan dia akan merahkan dia akan cannot ship in your current please check your address something like that And then, bila you guys guna address ni, you guys boleh tengok. Dah tak ada dah. So, maknanya korang boleh order barang daripada Weaver Shop. Lepas korang dah beli barang dekat Weaver Shop, korang dah bayar guna PayPal macam biasa semua. Dan korang tunggu je uh, Weaver Shop bagi um, tracking number. And bila order dah in transit, dia akan bagi tracking number. Uh, so, dia nak pergi kat buy and ship. sampai you guys punya parcel ada dekat overseas warehouse dia which is dekat Korea dia dia akan sentiasa update by and ship ni dia akan sentiasa update from korang korang tengok je dia punya dia punya proses dia sampailah dekat ready for consolidation ni 
uh, bila dah kat ready for consolidate baru korang start consolidate korang punya parcel tu and then bayar dia punya fees lepas dah consolidation ni korang just tunggu je sampai lah barang korang dekat wewe shop tu ada dekat depan rumah korang tapi dia still akan bagi uh, tracking number lah kalau kalau korang punya barang tu dia dah dia dah sampai kat Malaysia so korang boleh korang boleh setiap-setiap tengok update barang korang kat mana itu je untuk video kali ni tutorial how to buy from Weaver Shop using Buy and Ships. Thank you for watching and see you guys in my next video.